got this case here reported as not holding temperature and it's not I think I'm guessing it has a a fan out let's see okay so I was wrong both fans are working and the coils aren't froze up but I do have this one cooler here it is a two section or it's got two evaporators down there the left side seems to be doing better than the right side I defrosted it they're both back on and running left side supply is 40 and my right side supply is not 40 it's much higher it's like hmm, six degrees higher maybe seven and we've got it frosting here right here at the screen right at the body and this one over here is not frosting now this one is good this not good okay so I got the rest of the food out because I guess I'm gonna open this up and clear the screen even though every time I do that they're not dirty but for some reason after I put them back together they work all right we got a valve here oh man do I gotta pump I think I gotta pump the whole circuit down actually yeah because see I have no valves on the suction lines only one on the liquid I've got to pump the whole circuit down which this is uh, a11 so that'll be fun Damn, this fucker is dirty. Oh my god. So after I got all that crap cleaned out of there, got them started up now, so we're going to see how it works. They should fall around the same pressure and we get no more of that icing up right there. I mean, they should, actually, they should both drop at the same rate. So I got this one, a probe in there, and then this also should not ice up. And then it'll work, and then we're done. So, looks like that's gonna work. Oh yeah. All right, so now, this one's 
supply at 40. This one's yeah, this one's cooling better than that one is. Hell yeah. Alright. No more freaking problems. Well then, you guys, that is that. So the TXV frosting like that? No, that is not good. That is not normal. Not frosting. That's how you fix it. Don't adjust that first. Check that first. Okay? That's the lesson of the day. I'll see y'all later.